just a little more. Ah, oh, yes. Hello, Zul'jin. Gosh, I'm so glad you're here, lad. I have more ore than my pack can hold. Ore? Well, it's coal, of course, silly. Quickly, help me gather the last bit before the bandits come. Then we shall make for Serenica. Ah, Serenica at last. Let's head over to the blacksmith. I'll trade in this coal, and you can purchase a pick from the skill trainer. For a small fee, he can provide you with the pieces of equipment that you'll need to obtain equipment for future professions. The profession that we will discuss today is mining. Calm yourself, lad. Your curiosity is so obvious. Coal, as well as other resources, can be found spread amongst the areas in Andalusia. These small concentrations of resources are known as ore nodes, which come in a variety of size and quality. Pickaxes can be leveled up. As you mine ore throughout the lands of Andalusia, your experience with your pickaxe will grow continually. To mine an ore and gain experience, you can approach an ore node, hit it with your pickaxe, and you will collect coal. Once coal is collected, you will collect experience as well. One more ore should put us right over the edge to get experience for the next level. Congratulations, lad, on a job well done. At times, you will fail to harvest a resource correctly. Sadly, you will not gain any experience when this occurs. When you mine using the Novus Pickaxe, each ore you mine will increase the experience needed for the next level of your pickaxe. Each ores have different experience levels that may require a certain level of pickaxe in order to mine them. You can mouse over your pick or use the slash debug command to see the progress you make towards your next level. As you advance your pickaxe's level, the tier will also increase along with it. There are five tiers, like the equipment used for combat. When a pickaxe is level 99, it will read as master. When you reach level 100, which is the highest value on a pickaxe, the pickaxe can no longer be upgraded and will no longer receive experience. When this occurs, you can choose to exchange the pickaxe into a merchant to receive enchantment scrolls. When you level up your pickaxe, it can also gain attributes such as double ore drop, gem drop, triple ore, durability increases, or success buffs. The quality of ore mined will drastically change the values of experience that you receive when mining it. When you mine coal ore successfully, it will grant you 105 experience points towards the level of your pickaxe. This equates to approximately 650 units of coal successfully mined in order to upgrade your pick to level 20. As you mine higher tiers of ore, the experience per unit increases, starting with emerald ore at 245 experience, iron 520, diamond 855, and finally gold ore at 1055. While little is known about the upper tiered ores, I have discovered that each node will regenerate itself over time. The current rate of regeneration for coal, for instance, is 120 seconds, or 2 minutes. To reward miners for their efforts, ore can be exchanged at merchants for armor scraps. The scraps you get in return will be of the same tier as the ore you traded in. In addition to armor scraps, multiple ores may also be traded for gem pouches. These can hold as little as 100 gems and are also available in higher quantities. As a current guideline, lower tiered ore cannot be traded for higher tiered gem pouches. Well lad, it was great to see you and thanks once again for all your help. I'm afraid my armor is in shambles and I must report to the blacksmith for repairs. After that, I'll be in search of emeralds once again. Good luck in your travels and may you find more ore than your pack can hold. Farewell, my friend.